to another developing story now in Manitoba. The flooding there has reached a critical phase. The Assiniboine River is cresting near record levels in the town of Portage la Prairie. If the water gets too high, officials may be forced to cut a dike and flood dozens of homes. Global National's Vashi Capellos is in Manitoba, keeping watch on the water. Vashi? Robin, the river was originally expected to crest here around noon today, but the forecast was revised and it's now set to crest sometime early this evening. Officials are, of course, focused on that, but some residents here say the damage is already done. It only took a day. Mark Peters has been through this before. It's scary, it's frustrating. Peters and his family have been on this farm north of Portage La Prairie for three generations. The 2011 floods ruined much of the land and wiped all their hay out. This year was the first hay crop Peters produced since then. After a dike breach, it's all gone. Frankly, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I, I just can't, uh, I, I just don't know if I can go through this year again like this. Peters lives near a diversion the province set up to control river levels around Portage La Prairie. About 150 homes are at risk, 100 more if water gets too high and officials have to cut a section of road known as the Hoop and Holler. People in the community of Delta Beach have been evacuated, though not everyone is complying. A massive effort to protect homes is underway. 500 Canadian Armed Forces members and hundreds of provincial staff have been sandbagging and setting up dikes. Because everyone's very calm and understanding, and they're just taking care of business. This, this, is, this municipality doesn't like to lose. Other parts of the province are underwater, too. In the west, much of St. Lazar is already swamped. You know, right there, like, look at that big island right in the middle of, of a spillway. Back near Portage La Prairie, Mark Peters isn't optimistic. He's still fighting the province for compensation from the 2011 floods. The premier insists there won't be a fight this time. Applications are being made and uh, some money will be flowing as early as next week. Peters isn't convinced. Well, don't make any promises you can't keep. Now, there is some good news at this hour. Water levels may not be as high as initially feared. So much so, in fact, provincial officials are saying they might not actually have to uh, cut that piece of road known as the hoop and holler. Robin? I know it's early, but do we have any idea how much this damage will cost? Yeah, it's a great question. The Premier today was asked and he said it is actually too early to estimate how much of the flood damage right through the province will cost. He says at the moment the focus is simply on saving as many homes as possible. Robin. Vashi Capellos in Portage La Prairie.